Hello everyone, and uh, thank you again for joining me on this demonstration video. In this particular video, I want to talk about how to um, basically turn your controller into a virgin, like a reacclaimed virgin controller, where the only thing that is really continually set is the IP address and maybe the device name and a couple other things. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and wipe everything off of it so that it, we basically have a new controller that we can work with from scratch. So what you would do is um, open the program again, which I've already got. Make sure it's in the program mode. You're going to go to the sensor tab up here at the very top. And you can update the sensor so that you can bring it up to the newest firmware revisions and stuff. But what we're going to do is we're going to click initialize sensor. Now, before you click OK and before you even click on initialize sensor, understand this will wipe everything off of your controller minus the IO polarity, the network settings, such as your IP address, subnet mask, the default gateway, your port, and more than likely the device name. So understand, highly volatile, you will wipe everything that you have spent hours or, or a few minutes building. Keep that in mind when you're doing that. So, once you hit that and you're truly sure that you want to reinitialize the sensor and wipe all of your data off of it, click OK. Initializing will delete the current settings preceded. If the SD card is inserted, the program extensions area on the SD card will also be initialized. Understand what that's saying to you is if the SD card is in there, it's going to wipe all the data off the SD card as well. Be sure that that is exactly what you want to do when you reinitialize this controller. In this particular case, once again, yes, we want to go ahead and do that. So click OK. Now it's going to go through the process of reinitializing the sensor and clearing everything off of it, minus again the IP address and the IO polarity settings. We'll let it run its course, and it's going to take a few minutes to clean everything off of it. Sometimes, depending on how many programs you have on here, it will uh, it can take a long period of time or it can take a short period of time. Um, so it all just kind of depends on what your criteria is for program sizes and the amount of programs that you have. Um, when you might actually use this application in the future is maybe if you have like a demonstration model like we have here, for instance. Um, or you might use this in an application where, oh, well, it worked great on this machine, but we're going to throw this machine away. We're going to retire it or something along those lines. And rather than throwing away this vision sensor because it's a relatively new vision sensor and your ROI won't match when you've scrapped the other machine, etc., you take this vision sensor off and install it on a new machine, new application, new line, etc. Um, once it's completed, you would then click OK, and you would go through and verify that it has indeed wiped all of the settings and all of the programs off of it. With that being said, go ahead and verify that you're in program mode, and I'm going to go ahead and close out of that program, and that actually will conclude the initializing sensor setup. So thank you all for joining me for that as well.